The school has a very uh, strong tradition of uh, music and singing and uh, they were very keen on uh, one of the works that we're featuring in, in the opening uh, concert, uh, El Amor Brujo, it's a ballet suite by uh, a Spanish composer called De Falla. Uh, that really struck a chord with, uh, with the school and we decided to develop the work around that. Over the course of the week we've worked uh, on looking at the um, Defia ballet score, introducing that to the children and exploring the storyline. They've taken characters and parts of the storyline that they like the best and developed their own little story around it. Uh, they then worked to write a, a full libretto and then developed music around that then worked with our musicians and composer to, to practice that and work it up into the performance. Classical music sometimes perceived as a little bit highbrow and not for everybody. By taking our musicians into school and um, working alongside the children, they really get familiar with the music in an environment that they are comfortable in and they get familiar with the repertoire and really into the storylines and, and details so that when they come to the concert, um, they know the music inside out and they're really uh, engaged with it. I think the, um, the original storyline of uh, El Amor Brujo is actually quite appealing to children as it is. It's a, a classic fairy story of uh, a witch and uh, somebody being imprisoned by a curse and they're set free at the end. That's something that's, that's common to all children's fairy stories. Um, and although it's got this classical music setting, I think that's immediately appealing to children. And they've really latched onto that and taken it and made it their own. The children have just been absolutely amazing. I've not been in a school that has such fantastic singers in year five and year six. They're all really engaged, really great performers, and it's been a real pleasure to work with them.